Your next one down is voltage. Now what this is, is this is when you will, uh, it, the, the model will know how low the voltage is and when it's going to initiate it. First of all, warning you and then initiate a, a basically a return to home uh, fail safe. Um, now, what I've done again, I've done an awful lot of practicing on this uh, and what I've done is um, I've, I've, I've come up with some voltage cutoffs. Again, it is a starting point. Lots of people have their own specific voltage cutoffs. Some people prefer not to even use the voltage cutoff at all and fly on a timer. But um, I prefer if I'm supplying a model to a customer, I prefer to supply it with at least some voltage cutoffs that I feel in most builds that I've done tend to be a good ballpark figure. So the ones I am going to put in are the ones that I recommend. So you can certainly copy them, see how it goes on and uh, change them if you want to. So the first one is 10.50 and we have a loss of 2 point, sorry, 0.20 which gives you a 10.30 Game, just press return, lock that one in. Now, the first level of protection, what that does is simply flashes the uh, indicator status light at the back. You'll start getting a red flashing light, basically warning you to uh, that you should really think about heading home. Now, the next one down is the second level of protection. This is the one where it will go into fail safe. Now, uh, I did say earlier it was a return to home fail safe, it's not, it's actually a landing fail safe. So, wherever it is, it will want to land. As I say, if it's over water or you don't want to land there, toggle the GPS switch or, or even actually use the throttle stick all the way forward will actually uh, break it out of the fail safe. But remember, you've got the battery at its minimum and you'll wreck the battery if you dis discharge it too low. So, these uh, values I set at 10.20. And again, a loss of uh, 0.20 equals that. Again, return it, and that's that uh, popped in. Another thing you need to do as well, depending on how many cells you're running. Now, these settings are for three cell, not four cell. As I generally build all my models on three cell. If you're running four cell, what you can do is you can take the figures I've got and you basically divide them and work out what the extra cell would be. So you can drop down, you've got all your various cell types, but normally my multi rotors, it's either three or four cell, and this is this one. Another little one you've got here is a, basically a battery calibration there, and it just helps calibrate the battery's voltage, um, the actual voltage to what it's reading. And that's that for the battery one.